Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I'm directing the actuarial program at Illinois State University. The website of the program is at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to make a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. For a fully discrete whole life insurance of 5,040 year old, you are given the following. The probability of death within a year, QX, is the same for all ages and equal to 3%. The annual interest rate is 5%. Policy expenses are 10% of contract premium in the first year and 2% of contract premium in renewal years, as well as 10 per thousand in the first year and 5 per thousand in all renewal years. The contract premium is based on the equivalence principle and is paid as a level annual premium for the entire life of the insured. Calculate the variance of the prospective loss function at policy duration 10 when the insured is 50. Well, the key observation is that the future lifetime has geometric distribution, the future curtate lifetime, discrete version of it. Um, so let's write qx equal to q uh, because it's the same for every age, and p equal to 1 minus q. We know that under the assumption of this problem, you should memorize this, that um, ax is q over q plus i, so in this case 0.03 over 0.03 plus 0.05, so 3 eighths, and 2ax is q over q plus 1 plus i squared minus 1. So it's uh, 0.03 over 0.03 plus 1.05 squared minus 1. Now, of course, you, you, you could guess immediately that the, the 2ax is what you get when you double the force of interest in the first formula in ax. So you should memorize it, but you really don't have to memorize it because you know that. Um, what happens to i when you double the force of interest? So, well, it becomes 1 plus i squared minus 1. Um, so, we plug in all the numbers. This is uh, 12 over 53. a double dot x is 1 plus i over q plus i. So, in this case, 1.05 over 0.03 plus 0.05. Again, worthwhile to memorize, but you can also derive it from the formula for ax and from what I call the David Ricardo formula that gives you the relationship of big AX and A double dot X. So this is 105 over 8. Let G be the contract premium for this plan of insurance. Then based on the equivalence principle we have G A double dot uh, 40 is 5000A40 plus 0.08G plus 0.02G A double dot 40 plus 25 plus 25A double dot uh, 40. This is based on what we were told about the about the expenses. So the right hand side is the actuarial present value of death benefit plus actuarial present value of expenses. This is now an equation with G being the only unknown. So we solve it for G and G is equal to 5000 A 40 plus 25 plus 25 A double dot um, 40 over 0.98 A double dot 40 minus 0.08. Of course, what you see here is that the parts that have G in them on the right hand side need to be moved to the left hand side and uh, you need to subtract those things and this is what you're going to get. Um, then we plug in all the values because we know them and uh, we get this to be approximately 174.31. But of course the question was not about G, it was about the prospective loss function at policy duration 10. What is that? It's the, the loss function is the present value of the death benefit which is 5000 V to the um, K plus 1 where K is the future lifespan of a person if you, you could use a different notation. It just seemed convenient to use k. I know this is policy duration k, so already some time into the future. But let's just say that um, future lifespan for this person looking forward from policy duration uh, 10 is, is what is written here as k. And then 0.98g minus 25, this is um, 
premium after expenses um, so that's um, uh, 0.98 g minus 25 a double dot angle k plus 1 then we write the formula for a double dot angle k plus 1 as 1 minus v to the k plus 1 over d and then we rearrange the terms so that we have everything only in terms of v to the k plus 1 and you see that we calculate this just to be a linear function of v to the k plus 1 and we are looking at the variance of this and of course the constant term minus 3062 and so on that has zero variance so it's irrelevant and the variance is simply the square of the coefficient in front of v to the k plus 1 times the variance of that term which is um, the variance of life insurance at age 50 and that's 2a50 minus a50 uh, squared uh, and um, now an important observation is that because the property of dying is the same at any age those two parameters are the same at age 50 as they are um, at age 40 calculated before. It doesn't matter how old this person is. With this probability distribution, the parameters of life insurance are the same because a geometric distribution of the curtailed future lifespan is essentially the same thing for practical purposes, the same thing as constant force assumption for the continuous model. Although, of course, Constant force implies geometric distribution, but not the other way around. But nevertheless, that's at this point, we know that the variance uh, can be calculated this way. And we get uh, 5,576,430.56. Uh, Please remember this is copyrighted material, all rights reserved. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.